Welcome to Instant Replay presented by Cheez It. Andrew Weeby, Bobby Warshaw here to take you to the conference championships, leg one. And you know where we're starting Mercedes Benz Stadium, 52nd minute, Atlanta United with a 1 0 lead on the New York Red Bulls. Here comes the free kick routine, back post to Aaron Long, dummy for BWP, and the solid finish past Brad Guzon. That's a goal, right? A road goal, in fact. It's 1 1, right? Uh, well, no. VAR Drew Fisher flags this one to referee Kevin Stott. And what do they notice? They notice Alex Mwil offside, Bobby, and obstructing the view of Brad Guzon, and they call this goal back, and Twitter went crazy. Were they right to go crazy? Was this the wrong call? Well, let's start here. If you look at a rigid rule of the laws of the game, Mwil was certainly offside. He interfered with the sight line of the goalkeeper. It's clear as day when you look at this angle from behind the goal. But Andrew, if we go back through the season, we look at all the times when a player potentially interfered with the defender from an offside position, they weren't all called. So the consistency isn't there, and consistency and precedent matter more than the laws of the game. That is a fact, whether you think it should be done that way or not. And because the precedent wasn't clear with this, the next thing I look at is, was Brad Guzan actually interfered with? And if I look at his reaction after this goal, Andrew, he doesn't look upset. He's not pointing to Mwil, he's not yelling at the referee. He goes and gets the ball in the goal and kicks it out as if nothing bad happened. Taking those things into account, I would have allowed the goal to stand. Laws over precedent all day of the week. It is clear in this. If you clearly obstruct an opponent's line of vision, Brad Guzan's, it's not a goal if you're in an offside position. Alex Mwil is. And to expect Brad Guzan to litigate this on his own? That's crazy. Take your argument to the Supreme Court. In the rule of law on the field, this is not a goal. Not now, not ever. And if they didn't get it before, that doesn't mean they can't get it now. Yes, I 1,000% expect a player to complain when he feels like he got screwed over by a referee. You know why? Because that's what every single player in the history of soccer has done when he's been screwed over by the referee. So I'm a little curious why Brad Guzan, the player we're talking about here, doesn't say anything. After the game, Guzan did say, I was obstructed. This was the right call. That is what he would say. It is the right call, in my opinion. Let's go to the 94th minute. Jeff Moronowitz possible handball off another Aaron Long header. Looks like it's hip to me, Bobby. I don't think this is a handball. I agree with you. No evidence to say you're wrong on that one. All right, let's go to the nightcap. Portland Timbers sporting KC at Providence Park. Referee Robert Sabiga had a really good game, according to Peter Vermees, and I've got to agree. Let's start in the 13th minute. Graham Zussi and Sebastian Blanco had gotten into one, and then Blanco goes down like he took a punch in the face from Zussi, but no, it's just a little bit of contact. Come on, get up, Blanco. But this is the big question mark, Bobby. Diego Valeri is suspended for leg two if he gets a yellow card. Right here at the 15 minute mark, he has a tackle on Sestinovic that I think is probably a yellow card in the regular season. What do you think about this one? You're right, it's definitely a yellow card in a normal game, but this isn't a normal game. If Valeri had picked up a yellow card here, he would have been suspended for the second leg. And you could hear both coaches after the game say they applauded Robert Sabiga for his management of the game. They don't want players suspended for that leg. Sabiga took context into his ruling on these plays. He was right not to give the yellow card. I think it's a yellow card, but I am glad, just like you, just like Peter Vermees, just like Gio Savarese, that Diego Valeri will play in that second leg. How about Diego Chara? Check out this one from the 34th minute on Johnny Russell. He comes in hard, but based on your precedent, Bobby Warshaw, I don't think you're calling that one a yellow either. Let us know what you think of both those plays. Here's one from the 61st that I have a take on. Did Johnny Russell push down Jorge Villafania in the box? The answer is maybe a little bit, but it's not a PK, folks, so don't get all upset about that one. And we finish here with some props for the refereeing crew in the 70th minute. Portland has a goal, but it's called back for offside. You can see Liam Regwell is off and Daniel Guzman is off. Bobby, got to give him props for the due. Excellent call from the assistant referee, and he was even right to leave his flag down until the ball went in the goal when they could check it, but he put his flag up and he got it right in the moment. Excellent. Yep, well done. That's leg one of the conference championships. The Audi 2018 MS Cup playoffs roll on on Thursday. We'll see you then.